Today I'm gonna show you how to make your videos pop and take them to the next level using creative assets from our latest and greatest pack release, the All In Pack. If you wanna get your hands on that giveaway, all you need to do is go into the description below. If you subscribe today to Artlist or Artgrid, you will get this pack for free. And if you're an existing user, just go to the website and download your All In Pack. So let's jump on the editing station and I'm gonna show you what you can do with this pack. First of all, I wanna show you a clean edit without any assets. By the way, the footage and music you're going to see and hear are all from Artgrid and Artlist. With the RIP, practice in Tai Chi, keep it chill, mental LIT, keep it ill psyche. Hotter than wasabi, ah, too spicy, drop a PIC, now I'm trending on IG. Yeah. That was pretty cool, but it can be even cooler using creative assets from the All In Pack. I already created a sequence with all the assets that I've used implemented into the sequence. So let's start going over each thing. So right off the bat, I chose to use some film grain that gave it a more of a creative look. And I chose to go with the Pro Film Grain. As you can see in the project file, we have the All In Pack located right here. Basically, the uh, Pro Film Grain is right here. So you can see there's some scratches and grains on it. I put that specific grain all across the project. You can see the footage is already having a more rough look. All you need to do is drag it from here to the timeline, go into Effect Control, and right here in the Opacity, you can change the blending mode to Screen, or whatever blending mode you want, you can play around with it and see the different effects that it could create. I also added in the beginning some glitch effect just to create a more impact for the first shot. You can see right here, there are plenty of glitch effects available in this pack. I specifically chose to go with glitch number six, which is this one, and it's a very long glitch. It has different parts to it so you can play with it. It's very easy to drag and drop it. It's already an alpha file. But again, I wanted to play around with the blending mode and the opacity. For this specific thing, I went to the darken and you can see this effect right here. For this specific shot, I used some fill mats. We have some pretty creative fill mats right here. And if I'm gonna zoom into the timeline, you can see I've used several different fill mats. All these files are 4K, so if you're working on an HD project, you should scale everything down or just right click and scale to frame size or set the frame size. Just to show you an example how that looks, you can take a specific fill mat. Let's take this one for example, drag and drop it on this footage and already you can see the effect. Of course, I'm working on an HD project and these files are 4K. You can just uh, right click on the specific mat and adjust the specific mat to your clip size and see you know, the different effects in action. In this section, we went with a pretty cool and simple split screen. I basically took the same piece of footage cropped it and moved it into position. You can take that to the next level again with the asset. So basically I took this element right here and I've put it underneath these split screens. Let's turn on this layer and immediately you can see how it affects this specific part of the sequence. And then I took this pretty cool asset that we have in the pack and put it on top of the middle split. So let's turn on these layers. And to give it a bit more spice, I added the film grain and you got yourself that pretty cool grungy look. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. So again, here's another part in the edit where you have this person uh, climb on the concrete roof. So I added the glitch effect, this one. I decided to mask it. So this is how it looks and also play with the blend mode. Again, it's very easy and simple. All you need to do is create a mask. As you can see, the mask right here. 
So I created a mask over the specific element and I changed the blend mode into overlay. You can play around with it. You can see that it could be also like this. I wanted it more subtle, so I went with the overlay blend mode. What I really like about this pack that it has a lot of different elements in motion. So all these different elements are in movement. You can see how easy it is to drag it. I adjusted the, uh, the element, scaled it to the frame size and that's how easy it is. So I decided to use some more elements because again, this is like a dance video. There's a lot of movement. So these elements fit really well into the specific edit. The next thing I've added is some VHS effect. So you don't only have grains here and fill mats, you also have VHS assets under the VHS folder in the pack. Very easy to use. It's just a drag and drop. This specific one is the fifth VHS asset. You can just drag it, play with the blending mode and you can get very cool effects as you can see here. You can also help these elements be more integrated within the footage by masking your subjects. Basically all I did is took the specific shot uh, of this woman. I've duplicated it and I used mask together with some keyframes, a very rough mask as you can see. And in between the two layers, I've put some motion graphic elements from the pack to increase the movement and dynamic of the shot. And again, I did a pretty rough mask. You can go keyframe by keyframe and refine your specific mask until you're comfortable with the result that you get. And for the end, I've just used some more VHS uh, assets from the pack and added a flicker effect, which again is very simple to do. I can delete this and show you how I did it. Basically, you cut your footage and delete the gaps and you get the same effect. Gyms with the RIP, practice in Tai Chi, keep it chill, mental LIT, keep it ill psyche. Hotter than wasabi, ah, too spicy, drop a PIC, now I'm trending on IG, yeah. So this is how easy it is to use this pack and make an impact on your videos. We would really love to see what you guys create with this pack. Make sure to tag us on Instagram and you might get featured in our social platform. There's many more stuff to this pack like LUTs, sound effects, pre-production templates to help you out with your creative process. Also, let us know in the comments down below what was the most useful tip you got from this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and slapity slap that like button. Until the next time, Stay creative.